Shit, hello! Oh, I have to select my language? Oh, this must, they must have done a reset. Yeah, it's having me switch, select my name. Do I want to be a bear Yusek? Yeah, they did a reset. Uh, I did Yusek last. No, I did bear last time, so I'm going to do Yusek again this time. I can't believe Command just up and left us here. Scavs around here? <laughs> What ugly mug am I going to pick this time? You're not streaming. I'm not? Pretty sure I'm streaming. It says I'm streaming. Yeah, I'm streaming. Alright, you got three minutes to get that update in there. Three minutes? I can't make it go faster. It's probably it live. I can hit the compile button again make extra sure. I'm just. I feel How sick. Could I don't. This happen to me. Additionally, we could just delay the round restart. Okay. As I take a tip on. In remove the emergency response team area. Just that. Yeah. I need an exorcism. Can I look at the ERP area? Yeah. It's... Somebody say ERP. In the normal city hall. Yeah. There, I have a ticket open. So we'll just give it like another extra two minutes. Where is it? It's above City Hall. Okay. I'm at telecoms. Literally teleport to me. I'm right here. It's okay. Saving Polaris.dmb. Copying files. Not gonna be polar. Okay. Polar is going So the fact that I had to reinstall this tells me that this is going to uh Oh no, it my settings look right. Okay. I didn't remove the launcher. <laughs> Alright, this is gonna be uh interesting. I have to close background processes. Like a virtual desktop streamer and television <laughs> and Steam and Epic Games and turn off my blue. Close some folders. Close Notepad. Close my phone notifications and disable them. Oh, I already did disable them. Okay. Close Messenger. Uh, looks good. Prepare to have my ears split out when I loaded to a game for the first time. Alright. I'm gonna do scav. Oh, I don't have a cooldown timer. Scav runs are always done on reserve. They must have made some optimizations, because this is running really smooth for me so far, where before it was just clunky even just getting to the lobby. He speaks for me now. Hunter, would you put a thing in the door and open it? the texture quality finally changes. Not escaping today. I am turning down my Discord so I can hear the background noise when it happens. <sighs> when did this update happen? Mm hmm. Winning. 
advance a little bit. Come on, no. Does the server need to hard restart to, or is it just? Shouldn't. Possibly, it shouldn't. the The calling of the crew transfer usually forces Dream Demon to reload re assets. Okay. If it doesn't work, try a hard restart. I, it shouldn't need it though. Alright, I'm in. This is the true test to see if my optimizations have made this game run flawlessly or not. I don't know why the uh, the wind noises are so loud. So I think I can disable. My god. This game still kind of looked like it made for like, a two, uh, like an early 2000s kind of computer. Uh, for, yeah, um, I'm playing on low settings, so that might be why. I'm also okay. waiting for NVIDIA because I just realized that my gamma settings are not set up. And this this monitor naturally makes everything look darker. Please don't take forever to load. There we go, now I can see. It makes the lights brighter and the darks darker. And uh, that's no bueno when playing a game that's already really fucking dark. Yeah. I think the frame rate is bad. Um, I can't really tell though. What, Hunter? It's my extract. Uh, Eating pipe. Okay. Dio. Dio. Yeah, Dio. Oh. Wow. I would Dio do that. Was it Dio or was it Odysseran? A lot of dead bodies. Some music ran through here. Uh, 
That doesn't look like a player. Er, AI. Let's give them let's give them a little bit to kinda get in and start getting get going before we start doing anything. bunch of dead people and I hear angry scabs. Fuck. I don't think those are scabs. I think those are raiders. Look at that. There's so many dead bodies. Somebody just ran through here and wiped everything. That's a player. been an awesome loot too for my first run of Tarkov. But yeah, it runs great. Like there was no I didn't like hitch or anything. 20 minute cooldown. All right. I'm going to do a quick exchange run and see if it stays the same. If it does, I think I can call this test a massive fucking success. Oh, wait a minute. I don't know all that. Yeah, it was a full reset. Of course it was. I just had to pick my character. What am I talking about? What's up with the music? That's. I guess I don't have a helm of it. Yes, just gonna go with an M4. That sounds like awesomeness. Four, five, six, seven, and I don't have a. <sighs> I don't want painkillers. Alright. Nighttime raid. stuff. Anything else is probably going to get taken.
I can barely hear you, Hunter. I'm not sure if it's me or you. Say something for me. I'll just check. Oh, uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Come here. Come here. So, Noise wants to know if we want to play Phasmophobia. I do, but Hunter needs help with it. No, that's okay. I could just not have any sentient aliens. <laughs> well, yeah, that'd probably make it more realistic. I mean, also, it's gonna take me at least 10 minutes now because okay. he didn't message me until I was already loading into a round. And I'm going customs. We can get Dio to play with Who? Dio. Eh. <gasps> He's not fun. He hides like a bitch and insults everybody. Same. Okay, if that's different though. <laughs> what? What's the difference? You like me? <laughs> I'm playing nobody likes Dio. Oh god. I don't dislike Dio. He's just not a. What's the word? He's not a. Hmm. He. I don't know how to well, I mean, it. he's he's like level three. I hit a lot when I was playing the game too. No, I mean, I literally don't have the words to describe what I'm thinking right now because I'm trying not to die. We'll talk about it later. I'm gonna start dinner. Maybe my friends feel better if I eat something. Oh, hello there. Pull up my What well done? Yeah, there's a little bit of like a residue right on I think I may have gotten a tiny hiccup there, but it was like so minuscule because of my optimizations, it it did nothing to influence my ability to kick his ass. Like that was totally fine. In the that's, a, sure. that's a fight I normally would have lost. Like it seems like only Alfredo sauce. So I'm trying to find out uh, what outfit I should use.
got a whole AK in here. my extract. Ah, uh, ZB. Okay, yep, that makes sense. It's been since I played, so my mental map isn't quite there yet. Me prone, please, game? Why is it being like this? There we go. Little pitching here. Like I loaded someone in. Least favorite part, crossing the bucket river. Time to get sniped again. <laughs> Trying to figure out what this guy should wear. I'll be right back. Isn't there like. <laughs> my left. Maybe I can slip by him. I don't really want to engage like this.
Yeah. Here are a lot of flash things. Doesn't really work much, but ooh, I see that sounds relatively close. I think they're in the construction site. There it goes. He's walking like right next to me. Somebody here. I just gotta see if I can see him before he sees me. It's not safe for me to move up. It could be, Rish it could be Rishala in this game. This Rishala, I don't have a choice. I think gonna have to fight him. Need to walk in. I might have I might have just missed them. Or someone's being in here really quiet. I check the bedroom.
somebody's here. Somebody's in here with me. Right above me, to my left, on the same ground. Oh, they're coming my way. the area. He either knows I'm here, or I might have the drop on him. complicates things. I can't leave this area without getting my ass shot. Yeah, he's above me for sure. I think he took up a sniping position above me. So if I'm lucky, he won't hear me coming. I don't know what side he's on, or if he's watching the stairs, or if he's watching out. If he's watching out, I've got the drop on him. Follow my audio memory. He, sh he might be over on this side, watching out over the rest. I hear him. Yeah, he's here with me. Oh, yeah. There might have been two of them. Okay. That is enough for me. I got what I wanted to know. Everything runs excellent. That is probably the best performance I've ever gotten out of Escape from Tarkov. So... The moving from H the hard drive to the SSD is a great first step to get rid of the hiccups. Like it gets rid of most of the hiccups by itself. So the changes I made from that point uh, was I enabled the Win32 priority optimizations. Let me turn off my contrast setting real quick. So I'm blasting my eyes out. All right. So Win32 prior priority separation. That is enabled and I have it set at the 26 value. What are some of the other things I changed? 
that's the main one that did it for me. There is another one, and I'd have to look it up. I think. I think it was. This is under system, so I think the other one was under Windows NT. Or. Microsoft? I think it was under software. Maybe it wasn't software. Can I not just like search for folder name? Yeah, I don't find it. Hold on a second. I probably put it in a chat somewhere and I just have to find it. Oh, no, no, I was in the right place the first time. I just didn't go deep enough. Okay, scroll up. So it is under software, but it's not under classes. Um, it's under Microsoft. Yeah, okay, so I just missed the folder from Microsoft. And then under Windows NT, current version. And then it's multimedia system profile. So I set system responsiveness to zero and I set network throttling index to the highest value FFFFFFF and hexadecimal. So that means that there's no throttling um, of network speed. So if I'm doing VR streaming, um, I don't get weird artifacting due to network stability. Um, it's not going to stop system responsiveness or throttle due to system responsiveness. And then inside of games, there's extra stuff in here for how the system handles it. So the SFIO priority and scheduling category, sending these to high means they get higher priority. I just made sure GPU priority was set to eight and the overall priority is set to six. So this gets higher precedence over everything else. Uh, don't touch clock rate or affinity or background only. It's only these four options. After that, there's something that you'll have to look up how to do if you want to do it. Um, the best way that I found to do it is to go into Device Manager and inside of here there's something called the High Precision Event Timer. Um, I found this by pure chance that I was looking at reasons that PUBG didn't run well and I saw that it specifically causes system interrupts when they aren't needed. Also related to multimedia settings from Windows NT um, so I went in to disable this, and then there's some extra stuff that you have to do with uh, BCD edit to make sure it doesn't turn itself back on on boot, and that it uses the dynamic timers instead. So this is, it's supposed to be fast, but it's actually very slow. It sends system interrupts, which makes your system stutter, and it does that so that other programs get a chance to interject. But when you're gaming, you don't want that to happen. You don't want to prioritize background operations and services. You only want your foreground process to be having that high priority. So that is what I have done. As you have seen, I am on a 1060 um, on a laptop running an i7-7700. Um, almost an HD Sapphire edition. Yep, i7-7700HQ. It is a GeForce GTX 1060. As you can see, you don't need the best system in the world to be able to run this game, as those elitists will try and tell you. It's just about doing the correct optimizations in Windows so that your system is actually performing as it should be. So that is it. I am done basically, probably not gaming, but I'm done with my Escape from Tarkov test. Um, so rather than being just Valthor Suffers, which I did because I suck at this game, um, my whole intent of going into this was to see if the optimizations I have found truly make a difference. And they have. Um, one other trick you may find useful, I covered this in my other Escape from Tarkov video, 
is SSD. I only have 117 gigabyte SSD, so I use something called Simlinks, which is where you put a folder into one drive and then you Simlink it so that when your system goes to look in that folder, it actually looks up data in a different drive, but your software can't tell the difference. So one of the things Escape from Tarkov does is it tries to force you to put it in a specific directory, or at least it used to be the case. You couldn't change your install directory. So if I wanted to move from one drive to another, it's going to say, well, I expect you to be installed here. I can just symlink it and then move it to the drive. And then inside of my data drive, there's a blue uh, battle state games. And if I actually go here, it says I'm in the C drive or in the D drive, but it's actually in my C drive. It's just the system is telling it it's in one drive or another. Uh, this is a little workaround for network drives. Um, supposedly, theoretically, I think you could get around some anti-cheat with this stuff. I don't do cheats, so that's my theory. Um, do with that what you will. But yeah, it's mostly meant for isolation. Uh, folder isolation on Windows Architect. Uh, another thing that you could do too is that some things that are Windows native you can't move them across drives without causing errors. So certain things like your user folder, uh, I believe I did it with this one. Um, yeah, like Gradle is not on my my C drive anymore. Uh, RuneLight, PHP Storm, VirtualBox, just random software I don't really use, but normally takes a lot of space and would be assigned um, to your user folder or your app data, local roaming and local DAW or local DAO, local low, like Minecraft, um, some days to die is pretty big, some Discord files, a um, bunch of other programs that are just spacey, um, your browser. You don't really want that sitting on in SSD because it's not going to really improve performance. And when you have a small SSD like that, you have to make every last inch of space count. So anything I had that I noticed can get big files thrown in here. I've moved over to my um, hard drive, which is much bigger, slower, but 7200 RPM, but bigger, can hold more stuff. So yeah, all these links that look like they are shortcuts, if I were to go into them, you know, it's going to think I'm looking at something else, um, but it's it thinks it's at the C directory, um, but what I've actually done is, like, I have an actual roaming folder in here, all the things that were that I've symlinked over are going to be showing up in here instead. So yeah, little tricks to make space on your otherwise unserviceable SSD. You can indeed use a 128 gigabyte SSD to game. You just have to make sure you're doing the correct optimizations. Uh, definitely wouldn't recommend this if you're not tech savvy though. Um, this took me <sighs> several weeks to to truly perfect it and even then like there's still more things I could do more optimizations I'm sure I could find uh, but these are the absolute bare minimum to get the best performance possible out of your games that's it I'm gonna go ahead and end the stream here I'm gonna go jump over to Phasmophobia with Noise of Silence and Lillian uh, Hunter so I will be going live again in a few minutes